Members of the Executive Committee of Sri Lanka Cricket met with Minister Navendi Sanayaka this morning. Speaking during the media briefing, the minister stated that the members had welcomed the six recommendations submitted by him. The recommendations noted that all major operational and policy decisions should be made by the Board of Directors, including the President of Sri Lankan Cricket, in keeping with the broadly accepted principles of good governance. The recommendations also included the compilation of a complete financial audit report by employing the services of a Sri Lankan audit firm in order to investigate recent allegations of corruption. As mentioned in the recommendation, the Board of Directors cannot employ those related to them or promote them, nor can they obtain the services of any company they are associated with so as to avoid conflicts of interest. Facilities should be provided in order for the CEO of SLC to carry out his tasks and he must also be given the opportunity to execute conference of the International Cricket Council. Furthermore, a recommendation was also put forth saying that no member of the board should have direct communications with overseas cricket board individuals and goes on to note that all such contact and communications should be done via the President's office or on an officially accepted basis. Prioritising winning the 2015 World Cup was also mentioned in these proposals. The minister had remarked that the election of the office bearers for SLC can only be postponed on the basis of any unique factors surrounding the World Cup. The minister highlighted that steps had been taken to conduct elections for the rest of the associations before the 31st of March and added that relevant steps to do so will be taken keeping with sports regulations.